to wrap a cat in a kitty burrito, put them on the middle of the towel, flip the short side over, tuck slightly, long side over. She's small, so there's a lot of excess towel. Now we've got a kitty all wrapped up in a burrito. Good way to get some uh, towel drying going on. And now we're going to get down here to the head and do eyes and ears. Important to always clean these. I do saline solution on the eyes. Again, we have that, that tear stain. I've made it a habit to always sniff my cotton balls. The reason for that is I've got alcohol for ears, saline for eyes. I do not want, obviously, alcohol on the eyes. So for about 16 years now, I've been sniffing cotton balls, making sure that what I'm using on the eyes, which I always do first, doesn't smell like alcohol. It's just a good little safety precaution. So I'm applying saline solution, breaks down that tear drainage. Now I've washed most of it out during the bath. Anything left, I need to make sure that I've got all of it off. And so what I'm looking for is do I have any rusty brownish residue on my cotton ball. If I do, I've got to go back and do this again and again and again. And for cats that aren't groomed on a regular basis, you might have to go through several cotton balls. Now it's time to do the ears. I use um, alcohol for that. It, it cleans the earwax very, very well and does not leave a greasy residue around the ear. That's so important. Her ears are pretty clean. Not a problem. All right, it's off to the dryer.